Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Happy New Year, Calvary. I am so glad you're starting off 2024 by joining me for your word for the day. Today we are in Matthew chapter 17, and I think it's going to challenge us to think through some goals for the new year. Matthew 17 starts out this way, verse 1. And after six days, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, his brother, and led them up a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, and his clothes became as white as light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with him. So let's take a break right there. What just happened? Jesus and his inner circle of disciples, Peter, James, and John, go up to a mountain. And while they're there, there, Jesus is transfigured. That means his glory that he had before he walked on this earth, that glory he had in heaven beforehand, was shown to them. And this is an amazing, beautiful scene. Peter, James, and John would know Jesus as the man with dusty feet who walked around in sandals, who had calloused hands, who had clothes that would get stained but now all of a sudden he's appearing there in glory before him and Moses and Elijah appear with them so Peter has a response he says this in verse 4 and Peter said to Jesus Lord it is good that we are here if you wish I will make three tents here one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah he was still speaking when, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. So Peter has this great idea. Hey, let's just make this a special place. Let's put some tents up for Jesus, for Moses, and Elijah. And kind of mid-sentence, Peter is stopped cloud from heaven descends and God the Father speaks and says, this is Jesus, my beloved son. This is my son who I love. Listen to him. Summarizing, we might say, Peter, shut up and listen to Jesus. Peter has to not equate Jesus with Moses and Eliza. Jesus is in a class of his own. He is God's son. And this is what happened with Peter. When the disciples heard this, they fell on their faces and were terrified. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise and have no fear. And when they lifted up their eyes, they saw no one there but Jesus only. So, of course, the disciples are afraid as often people in the Bible are when they hear God's voice. They're, they're terrified and they cover their face and they fall to the ground. The very next thing that they hear is Jesus telling them, don't be afraid, get up. And they do that. They get up. So what can we learn from this passage, especially as we start a new year? I think that one, we want to take time this year to get to know Jesus better. Peter, James, and John got to know Peter or Jesus better, and we can do the same thing. We can take time to listen to Jesus, listen to his word, read the Bible, and then go and obey it, right? When God says, listen to my son, he's not just saying, hear his words. He's saying, hear and do them. So one of the ways we can do this in the new year is maybe join with a group of people that are reading through the Bible in a year. There's going to be a lot of people that are starting that reading plan on the YouVersion app this day on, on the 1st of January. Maybe you can join them and get a group of people together that are going to read God's word and apply it. Listen to Jesus and obey his voice. Well, I want to encourage you just to finish that next paragraph in Matthew 17, and you'll hear how Jesus explains that John the Baptist was his forerunner and preparing the way for the Messiah. Have a wonderful day, Calvary, and I hope this kicks off 2024 in a great way.